So we're here at Acer taking a look at a bunch of new handsets. They've got two new Android phones, two new Winmo phones, a refresh on an Android phone. And we're with Adrian Storp. How are you doing, Adrian? Very good, very good. It's, it must have been a busy show for you guys, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it started well yesterday, and uh, clearly the two next day will also be pretty crowded, I guess. Awesome. So, yeah. So uh, let's see what we got here. You've got uh, the uh, B-Touch E110. Exactly. So uh, we launched the B-Touch series actually uh, earlier earlier this year, and uh, this is a continuation in that series. The B-Touch series is really aimed uh, to make the smartphones accessible to the, to the mass market. And it's really uh, addressed at the consumer market. So this is the first product that we are announcing here in Barcelona, uh, which is the B-Touch E110, uh, which is really uh, designed to be an accessible uh, smartphone. As you can see, it's a very small smartphone, very handy. Uh, it has a 2.8 uh, touchscreen. Uh, it's running on Android, uh, so it has a very, let's say, intuitive and, and simple user interface. The objective is really to make smartphones accessible from a usability point of view, from an intuitive net point of view, and obviously also from a pricing point of view. So this is our really entry-level smartphones, which will come, as you see, in two colors. So that's the blue version of it, and here you have the black version of it. And as you can see, in terms of a uh, UI, you can recognize uh, Android, which is slightly customized. Uh, we added uh, some pages, so we have five pages in order to have a maximum number of space for uh, widgets and shortcuts. We also added a couple of uh, Acer widgets, like the one you can see here, mm -hmm. where you can directly access all your uh, media, so pictures, music, and videos. So very intuitive, very easy to use, uh, also widgets. Same on the other side, we also introduced a very easy and intuitive widget to browse through your web bookmarks. Oh, very okay. cool. And the rest remains pretty much what you know from, from the Android uh, user interface. Is that the Android 1.6? No, that's the 1.5, so it's still, uh, it's still on Cupcake. Okay. Um, and again here, the objective is really to target customers who might not actually look for a smartphone, who might say, I'm looking to just replace my feature phone, and hey, there's a phone that might be just slightly bigger than a regular phone. It has a nice touch screen. Oh, it comes with a couple of applications that I don't have in a traditional feature phone. It actually comes also with 3G and a nice browser. So why not? And that's for more or less the same price than a feature phone. Excellent. So that's really the idea and the concept of uh, this product that we are announcing here, the, the B-Touch E110. Uh, j j just as a quick size comparison, I mean that's that's a standard business card there. Uh, so Sony Ericsson had launched the uh, the X10 Mini, and it, it, it was of comparable size. So this is uh, this is very impressive. 3.5 it's, it's very light as well, uh, so very handy. And again, compared to a traditional feature phone, you're very close in terms of dimensions. Yeah. And it's really discovering new usages with a very simple, easy to use phone. That's the concept. Cool. Uh, what kind of cameras on there? Three point two megapixels, or uh, that's a three megapixel camera, absolutely. Cool. All right. Uh, so two point eight uh, screen. Uh, it's a four hundred megahertz processor, so decent, uh, decent speed, especially for an entry phone. And we also have a couple of applications preloaded in there. So we have a Twitter client in there. We have a Facebook client uh, preloaded. And we also have a couple of exclusive Acer applications that we introduced uh, when we launched Liquid, mm -hmm. including uh, one application uh, which is called Spinlet, which allows you to browse um, music for free and share it uh, on the web, either by email or on Facebook. Cool. Very simple to use. Uh, that's all stuff stored locally on the micro SD card. And that's an that's an application that is stored on the on the device itself. And then here, what what we're doing right now is we're streaming, so we're on the we're on the data connection. Ah, right. cool. And so you can easily listen to music for free. And then, as you can see here, you can share it. For instance, post it to Facebook so that your friends can discover the songs that you like and that you discovered on Spinlet. So uh, the, the the music is that is that on demand or is it like? Uh... No, no, no. It's really for free. It's not a full, the objective of that uh, application is not to provide the largest library of songs available. It's just to promote new artists, new songs. So the catalog is changing frequently and really discovering music for free, so it's complete complete songs, fully for okay. free, that you can easily stream and then share with your friends. Nice, okay. all right, so that's kind of like an, an internet radio station on there then? Yeah, although that, you, you know, you can choose what you listen to when you want to, so it's not really interesting. the radio. Huh. 
So that's the spinlet, which which we actually it's an it's an application that we that is exclusive to Acer, so it's not available on the market or such, uh, which we had uh, already on the liquid and which we will have on all our Android devices this year as well. Cool. All right. So next up we have uh, the Touch E four hundred, a little bit larger. Exactly. Um, so here we're moving, a, let's say, a bit higher in terms of uh, range. Uh, we're looking at a device that is still, you know, targeting very much uh, the consumer space. Still, design and simplicity as keywords for uh, product definition. And here, so we're looking at a product that will be running on Android Eclair. So it's a full-touch device again. We're on a 3.2-inch screen. Um, as you can see from a design point of view, it's also very slim, very handy, mm -hmm. and it comes with multiple exchangeable battery covers. So here you see the product with its black battery cover, here with its red battery cover, and it also comes with a white battery cover. So it's fully, this is exactly the same product, and it will ship with different color versions. Cool. Okay. Um, then what you have is obviously uh, Android Eclair. Here it's your first sample, but it already gives a flavor of uh, what it will look like. And we also customize a certain number of elements, including those widgets which we found on the E110 and which we have on the Liquid, mm -hmm. which are widgets to access your, your media files. And we also have a similar widget in a carousel mode to browse through your web marks. Cool. Okay. So, uh, this is some of the key differentiators would be that this is this is one point six here. No, no, this is this is Eclair, so two point one. Oh, two point one, okay. right on. All right. So if we, we one of the you know uh, again accessible main range devices on on Eclair um, with a customization of the UI with a certain number of exclusive application and with some you know let's say design differentiating aspects such as the battery covers which I just mentioned. Very cool. So that's the. E400, which will be launching in April. All right. Well, uh, before we move on to Winmo, let's, yep. uh, let's take a look at the new Liquid E. Absolutely. So, um, this is the Liquid as you know it from last December when we launched it. So, with its uh, donut version. And so, the three color variants, which we introduced last year. So, the black one, the red one, and the white one. Mm -hmm. And so now, basically, uh, we're introducing the Liquid E, which is um, leveraging the same platform um, and uh, upgrading it to Eclair. So you have a preview of, uh, of what it will look like. Uh, you recognize Eclair here with its specificities and uh, improvements in terms of, of UI. You recognize here the new uh, carousel, let's say, mode uh, in the application menu. and. Just as on the other Android phones, we have uh, included five pages for shortcuts and widgets, mm -hmm. and we again have included our our web and uh, media uh, widgets to browse through your favorite bookmarks and through your videos. And clearly, we decided to upgrade this uh, this device because it's uh, it's a really uh, interesting platform. Uh, we believe that uh, it is a it's going to be a product that that will be. Uh, also very successful in its Eclair version. Uh, so just as a reminder, we are talking about a device running here on the Qualcomm Snapdragon mm -hmm. with a 3.5 uh, wide VGA capacitive screen. Um, so uh, pretty, let's say, high-end uh, spec-wise. Uh, so for optimal for multimedia and entertainment. Mm -hmm. Just to give you maybe an idea of uh, the screen quality and uh, video quality. I don't know what video this is, but let's have a look. Pretty dark pictures right now. <laughs> Maybe we will have something light. Wow, that's pretty nice, actually. Cool. Okay. All right. So that's uh, the Liquid E. Absolutely. We will also, together with this Liquid E, we're introducing a new color. Uh, we don't have it on display here, but we're introducing a, a new color, which is a brown color, okay. uh, which will be uh, available uh, also at shipment uh, so in April as well. Cool.